All right, so here's how to power the light board up and use it from nothing. So to start, you're gonna come down here and you're going to press the big circle button. You'll see some lights turn on. You might hear the fan spin up. And at that point, just wait. If it doesn't turn on within a minute, unplug it from the wall and plug it back in again. And then try that again. Okay, so once you're at this screen, press any key or the mouse, and you'll see this. If you are a teacher or someone who knows what they're doing with computers, you can go ahead and use the administrative account. Though, if it is someone that you do not trust, you can just use the user account, which has no password on it. So from here, uh, you should see a screen pop up asking like primary, secondary, if not, just click over here, launch EOS Family V3. And from there, you can just click on primary. And the lightboard system is up. So I'm going to exit out of this because we are a trusted user by simply going there, sign out. then going back to the administrative account. The password for the administrative account is Bentley with a capital B. No special characters. You're gonna see a couple pop-ups asking for a system monitor. Just go ahead and click yes. And here, you should see this. Now go into primary. So now you are in the Light Console software. To start, uh, use Q4, which is the full brightness wash, and Q100, that is the blackout. There's two ways to go to Qs, either by using this uh, macro pad or the keyboard. Let's go over the macro pad first. Here is the home screen. This is what it's always gonna show when you boot it up. There's a few useful things in here, like uh, record queue, blackout queue, go to queue, uh, stop and back, go, and at. And also a little weather widget so you can see how hot it is. So the most useful one is going to be under the number pad. Here is a full number pad with go to queue, record queue, at, and enter. And this will get you through 90% of anything you're going to be doing on the lightboard. So to go to a full wash, we will hit go to queue, four, which is the full wash, and then click enter. Now all of the lights are on. To turn them all off, go to Q100. You can check that it's typing by looking at the little uh, command window there. Enter, and all the lights are off. Now let's say that you want to control a specific light. You should use the keyboard and just delete everything that you just typed. Clicking it four times usually gets rid of everything. And from there, let's say I want to turn on that light right up there. I know that is light one. So I can go one for channel one at 100 or full. Just like that, the light is turned on. But let's say I want to change this to 50. I can delete that and go one at 50. Just like that, it is at half brightness. To turn that off, I can just go one at zero. Okay, so let's go over how to use the RGB and moving headlights. So to start, I'm gonna select the channel that is using um, multi-parameter lights. Those are lights that have colors, moving uh, objects, gobos, that sort of stuff. So let's go to channel 10. Let's make that at 100% brightness. You can see that's that light over there. From here, I can go ahead up here, the ML controls. From there, I can cycle through all the various colors using the color picker or using these wheels over here, which you can move up and down by using the scroll wheel on the mouse. So let's say I want to record this as a cue. Go 
record Q 101, enter. Am I asked to confirm if you are overwriting a Q? And that's okay. Do not override Q4 or Q100. So now that I have Q101, I can go to Q4, which is the full black, or is the full brightness. But now I want to go to that blue, I can go to Q101. Now that Q is pulled up. So once you're done running a show, just hit go to Q100. This will turn off everything. And from there, you can just go uh, exit. If this is not popped up, it's possible you might have to click that button there. Exit. That. This will pop back up if you ever want to reopen it or like change a setting. But from there, if you want to power off the board, come over here to the start. Click on that. You'll see power and shut down. You may be told that there's an app that's preventing a shutdown, such as this. In that case, you can just click shutdown anyway.